It involves three towns, potentially billions in redevelopment and the future of a U.S. military installation. It's the next phase in the planned development of Fort Monmouth. Governor Christie today signed legislation creating a regional authority to develop the 1,100-acre site. Statehouse correspondent Zachary Fink reports on an ambitious undertaking designed to fill a vacuum that will be left by the fort's closing in 13 short months. It's called the Fort Monmouth Economic Revitalization Authority. It was created this afternoon with the governor's signature. The goal of the newly formed authority is to expedite development at the Fort Monmouth site. The facility, with its 5,000 on-base jobs, is relocating to Maryland, leaving a vast property that local officials would like to see transformed. That it will be a very sad day uh, when Fort Monmouth closes. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a mistake by the federal government to have closed this place. Uh, and, I, and I'm saddened by the fact that we weren't able to effectively stand up and fight to keep it open. We now have to look at it as an opportunity, an opportunity to bring new economic growth and development to this region and to our state. Fort Monmouth is located on an 1,100-acre site that touches three municipalities, Oceanport, Eatontown, and Tinton Falls. When you throw in Monmouth County and the federal government, which owns the land, there are multiple interested parties with different ideas about how to reinvent the site. The authority is charged with keeping the redevelopment on track. It holds power that is greater than any of the individual towns or local leaders. For example, the authority can claim eminent domain on the property and condemn unwanted structures. And most of the decisions of the authority require a supermajority, with seven out of nine votes in favor to make a decision. More than 40 amendments were added to the bill creating the authority before it passed the legislature. The new authority takes over for the Fort Monmouth Economic Revitalization Planning Authority, which came up with a blueprint for developing the property. That plan has been developed. It's a well-balanced plan. Uh, it includes uh, everything. It includes housing. It includes commercial. It includes indus industrial uh, uh, factors. The Revitalization Authority will include the three local mayors, a Monmouth County freeholder, three appointed appointees from the governor, a member of staff from the governor's office, and the chairman of the state's Economic Development Authority as an ex officio member. It provides the financing tools that will be necessary to reinvest in this area. Special Improvement District, Transportation District, reinvesting any sales tax uh, revenues. One of the concerns early on about Fort Monmouth was that it would be divided up and sold to developers strictly to build high-density homes. The authority will work to avoid that. And it is something people are worried about, legitimately so, with the impact of homes and schools, et cetera, on property taxes, which we're all concerned about, uh, particularly people of Oceanport, uh, which is going to have the largest share of of housing under the current plan. The original plan that came out a few years ago had a much higher, more dense number of homes. That's been reduced in the final plan number one. There was a plan submitted to the Department of Defense already, and the bill says, which is now law, that if you're going to change density, that the host municipality gets to review that, and they have a final say on any density variances. That's a recommendation that really came from the citizens and from the mayors, because they're very concerned that you might have an authority approving projects that they then couldn't absorb. The phase out will be gradual here over the next year with people leaving and relocating to Maryland just about every month. By next summer, the property is expected to be clear with the official transfer taking place in September of 2011. So it is unlikely any development or building will take place here until after then. Zachary Fink, NJN News, Eatontown.